Hi everybody, what is Metaverse? It's very important to understand, you know. Metaverse is the most emerging, mostly talked, the term in the field of virtual world, artificial intelligence and the similar applications. So let's understand in this small video what is Metaverse. So, this is actually a virtual world. You can see virtual world where everyone is interacting virtually, you know, playing virtually, trying to see the things virtually. Everything is virtual, you know, virtual world. It's a kind of virtual world is metaverse. Imagine a virtual world where billions of people live, work, marketing, do the marketing, learn and interact with each other. Billions and billions of people can live in the virtual world, they can work happily, they can do marketing, shopping, learn and interact with each other. Digital passive miles of ourselves and avatars, what is popularly called as avatars, move freely from one experience to another, taking our identities, our money with us. I mean, one can carry money with uh, oneself as well and enjoy the life anywhere, you know, do the marketing, use the money, spend the money in the virtual world. Go to the shopping mall, do the marketing in the virtual world. So this is there, can carry the money in the virtual world as well. Now let's understand why Metaverse is very important. Is, is, it became very popular world when Facebook was rebranded as Meta in October 2021 and since then you know there has been much talk and the discussion on Metaverse. Google, Microsoft, Nvidia, you know Qualcomm are the companies who are taking a lot of interest and investing billions of dollars in this concept you know to create the virtual world. Management consultancy McKinsey uh, as per their prediction the Metaverse economy could reach 5 trillion dollar by 2030. This is one, you know, estimate. E-commerce is expected to be the dominant engine in the growth with gaming, entertainment, education, marketing sectors. What is Metaverse? It's a single, shared, immersive, persistent 3D virtual space where humans can experience life in the way they could not experience in the physical world. See, it's very exciting, isn't it? The single and immersive persistent 3D virtual world where human being can experience a wonderful wow kind of feeling, you know, with which they could not experience in the physical world. Virtual reality, headsets and augmented reality, VR and AR are going to play a significant role in the area of metaverse. So VR and AR glasses are evolving quickly, you know, in order to take benefit of the uh, metaverse. In fact, this kind of discussion started in a book Snow Crash by Neil Stephenson. This was the first time the term metaverse was coined in 1992 by author Neil in his sci-fi novel Snow Crash. So this is one evolution of history of metaverse. You know, the thought started in 1938 as a binocular vision, then VR machine, AR, then slowly we are talking about 1992 when Neil wrote a book, Snow Crash, then Digital Twins concept came in 1992. Then slowly we reached to, you know, uh, the Facebook to Meta 2021 and Microsoft is coming into Metaverse 2022. So this is the, then blockchain came in, you know, the concept of blockchain came in 29 and uh, modern VR headset, virtual reality headset came in 2010. Real uh, Ready Player came in 2011. In this manner, we reached to Metaverse in 2022. So, how does it work? It has seven layers. You can see right from infrastructure, human interface, decentralization, spatial computing, creator economy, discovery, and experience. The Metaverse is a digital ecosystem built on various kinds of 3D technology, real-time collaboration, software and block-based decentralized finance tool. Degree of interoperability is very important in the operation of Metaverse. Data portability, governance and user interfaces will depend on how the Metaverse you know, pans out. So let's understand very briefly about these uh, 
uh, seven layers infrastructure huge and you know the excellent infrastructure will be required like 5g wi-fi 6g cloud 7nm you know and that kind of uh, web length requirement will be there in 5g and 6 d domain human interface mobile smart glasses wearables haptic gestures voice neural networks and so on will be required decentralization edge computing ai agents micro services blockchain will be contributing and decentralized in the deployment you know we have a virtual world how can we deploy how can we cover the entire you know the world spatial computing 3d engines vr ar multitasking user interface geospatial mapping creator economy design tools asset markets workflow commerce will be the part of creator economy discovery add networks where we can you know social curation rating stores agents where marketing, marketing, advertisements kind of thing can be done. And finally, the experience, which is at the top, has a wow feeling. Experience, it can provide games, social ex ex sports, theater, shopping, etc., etc. So these are the seven layers, which are very important layers, layers in uh, Metaverse. So these are going to be, you know, Metaverse transformer, which are, you know, going to be significant contributors in implementing and making the Metaverse in reality. AI to create avatars, digital humans, and spontaneous conversations. We need digital twins, avatars, digital versions of human being, human being. So we need the conversation as well. For that, a spontaneous conversation requires AI, Internet of Things that you know seamlessly can connect 3D virtual spaces with the real world, extended reality, which is nothing but in the form of VR, AR, and MR, to visualize the use of data in 3D brain computer interfaces that will replace the traditional computer control schemes, uh, screens and hardware which will provide the interface between the brain and the computing device blockchain to decentralize the metaverse secure digital content and avoid delays so that it can be deployed it can be distributed in large scale spatial age computing to quickly respond to user actions that mimic the reality so at different age devices there itself some computing takes place so that the response time becomes very less and 3d modeling and reconstruction is the last transformer is used to capture real objects and provide 3d version 3d prototype so that we can feel the 3d world as a virtual world as it, it i mean it seems as a, a real world but actually it's in virtual domain virtual space being brought you know through the 3d modeling and the reconstruction so metaverse applications are there in gaming, travel and tourism, education and learning, remote working, real estate, healthcare, banking and finance, social media and entertainment. These are the application areas. How will metaverse affect? You can see this is, you know, just for humor. This is a metaverse, you know, and this is the reality. So better to have a virtual world where you can, all can interactively work, not like this, what we are doing. You know, after COVID-19, uh, the pandemic, people are working on online mode, you know, from work from home. So we don't know how this is working. So one who is, you know, sitting from here can also interact with the people like this. So how does, how will it affect? It must be understood that the metaverse is still a set of possibilities, isn't it? Not a reality still. So there are many unknowns which are to be explored. How exactly the metaverse will become manifest? Who will control it? Who will be you know, the owner of metaverse? What will, what it will encompass? And how much of an impact it will have on our lives is still a debatable term. And things and discussions are, are going on. So it, it can enhance the teamwork and collaboration. These are the tangible benefits, the digital twin replication. The digital twin can be replicated. The building could theoretically enable architects to collaborate with the clients in real time on layouts, designing layouts, pinpoint problems and opportunities in advance building out the space. Enabling faster learning, interactive gameplay and simulations could speed up learning and improve outcomes by instance. For instance, enabling employees to learn how to operate equipment as in real life. Assessing, you know, operations where metaverse could make it easier for executives, managers, you know, sightseeing persons to visit factory companies, you know, at different sites, distribution center or construction site on the other side of the wall, shaking hands with employees and doing inspections as if 
on site. So that kind of feeling can also be created. So these are the main, you know, uh, the benefits which the, uh, which the metaverse is going to provide, enhancing teamwork and collaboration, enabling faster learning and assessing the operations are the three salient points, you know, based on the implementing all those seven layers, we can have great impact of uh, the uh, the metaverse. So these are actually the major application areas where metaverse is going to transform the world, gaming, travel and tourism industry, education and learning, a new education paradigm, you know, might, uh, you know, likely to happen uh, because of emergence of metaverse, remote learning, remote working, real estate sector, healthcare, banking and finance, social media and entertainment are going to be the prominent areas where metaverse uh, will find its uh, you know, major use, application and significance and relevance. Thank you.